Hello folks, how are you all doing? Hopefully you can hear me this time and uh, today's fragrance is gonna be a, actually a subscriber's uh, request. It was requested long time ago. As you can see from the title, it's gonna be from House of Playboy. It's a VIP for him, this fragrance review, all right? And uh, most of you are judging the fragrance by the house already. It's a cheapo, cheapy and whatnot. Yes, it is a cheapy, but it's a very nice hidden gem, I would say, in my opinion. So those who are interested, you can watch the review. If you don't, I don't mind. It's all right. So this fragrance, actually, uh, I have plenty to say about this. I'll try to finish it quickly because if I make it too long, then people lose interest. They cannot watch it. So, right. So here we go. So as you guys know, before anything else, I have three Playboy fragrances in my collection. The first one I bought was this, the New York. All right. Very, very beautiful. Smells like uh, nothing else I smelled. It's, it, people say it smells like fierce. Sometimes it's Mont Blanc legend. I don't know the comparison but it smells really really nice guys beautiful it's like when you buy the brand new car the brand new seat fabric seats it smells like this all right and then i think some people says vanille or something that the, the the record you play that that smell that comes yeah it comes from this so very unique fragrance i use a lot of that that's also a summer fragrance and this other one i have is a super uh, playboy this is a beautiful blue juice i use it for summer but i don't use it as much as i do use this right so the third fragrance i have from the house of Playboy is this one. So as you can see, the bottle is a little bit different. So this one, I'll tell you right from the beginning. This is a new bottle design. This is a newer one, I think. So the older one used to have the sticker here, right? Like these are ones. And used to say Playboy here and somewhere in the middle of the sticker. So now it says VIP here. And the Playboy bunny is right at the back, engraved on the bottle. And I'm sorry about the bottle being a little bit dirty because it's a glass, so you kind of have catch all the fingerprints. And it says Playboy right in the front, all right? And the bottom is your sticker and everything so you get this fragrance in 50 and 100 ml and i believe somewhere i saw like little little like bottles like 30 ml or i don't know 10 30 ml 10 or 30 so i believe there's 30 ml somewhere but i'm not quite sure so this fragrance i tried this somewhere in the mall and i just wanted to test it like when i didn't have this one i think it was like last like three four five months ago so i got this the body spray just to test it and the body spray and this the smell is identical no difference between the body sprays and the original fragrances the thing is this one doesn't have that lasting power it didn't last more than one hour to two tops so i thought you know but i like the smell so i thought like let's what the hell you know how much i have to lose so this one this fragrance you have to pay like for this big bottle in bangladesh you pay 10 to 15 dollars tops don't pay more than that i don't know how much is it going for in the states and how much where where else but this one in Bangladesh is quite fairly cheap. So you can get this pretty much within, uh, I think, 10 do US dollars. So that's like 1,000 taka and below. All right. So I tried this and I was like, okay, the smell is really nice. And I really, really um, would love a little bit more performance. So I went for the bottle, full bottle. So this fragrance, let me tell you right from the beginning. Many people compared this fragrance to one very renowned fragrance, which is Pakurabans 1 million. So I'm here to tell you, are this similar? Do the smell alike? Is it a good rip off of the One Million by Paco Rabanne, which has very nice blood orange, sweet leather, a um, lot of these other notes, you know, the bubble gum feel, it's a clubbing king, so-called all those things. Does this have same thing to offer? I'll tell you. So the price is out of the way, bottle size out of the way, uh, the notes in this, all right? So officially, I saw some notes in Fragrantica, but I'll tell you my own notes also, which I get from my nose, all right? So notes in this have quite a lot of notes. Bergamot, rhubarb, caramel, toffee, caramel toffee together, white chocolate, woody. Uh, the woodiness would be sandalwood. The booziness, uh, either bourbon or rum. And then there's sweet leather, apple, which is red apple, the lavender, tonka, and vanilla. So these are the notes. Some of the notes I picked up and some of them I saw them in Fragrantica, I combined them. So what I get from this fragrance, okay? I have this in my hand, drying down for some time now and it's, the dry down is really, really amazing, guys. So first of all, let me show you the sprayer. The bottle, the box I don't have with me because the box is somewhere down there. I took out recently all the bottles, as you guys know. So I am, I'm gonna put a picture of the box and the bottle in the opening, all right? So you see the sprayer. Shoots out a lot of juice, even though it looks a little bit cheap on the spare, but this shoots out a lot of juice. So for the bottle, only thing I have problem is the cap is very, very hard. 
when you take it out, sometimes it feels like the whole thing will come off, right? You really have to work out your flex your muscles. <laughs> so for the bottle design, it's all right. Nothing mind blowing. It's all right, pass, okay? But the smell, this is where this fragrance surprises a lot of people. This is a hidden gem and I'm here to talk about Playboy fragrances and I'm not doing this for people who are on budget, who are students only. I'm doing this for fragrance lovers. So this fragrance actually, it's a very, very good starter gourmand fragrance, all right? Just so that you know. If you love fragrances like, um, I think, uh, what's the fragrance called? Uh, tum, 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 tum. Uh, Michael Jordan, legend, right? There's a woody, boozy, sort of like a gourmand fragrance on a budget. This is exactly that, all right? But not exactly that. That one, I, it's a bit different, but same category. And I have two other fragrances I'm going to show you right now. And I'll tell you right away, these are the fragrances are very heavy but this fragrance VIP belongs to this family like little baby mahogany woods and then mentally for men intense definitely different kind of smell they are very heavy they can literally break through building in the winters but the kind of fragrance these are woody sweet leathery um, sort of like your um, heavy winter fragrance this is the family where VIP sits so thing is I don't think this first of all smells like 1 million at all I mean, I don't get anything. Okay, I'll tell you right away. I'll show you. <laughs> okay, here is my one million on this side. And this is the... Oh, sorry. A little bit not organized. Okay, this hand is one million, right? Oof. <laughs> okay, when you compare this with this, this smells like money. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Couldn't resist. I smell this after a long time now. So because that's one million is a winter fragrance and I'm going with all summer fragrances. So this one, right up, doesn't have any similarity whatsoever with one million, all right? If you really have to put one fragrance similar to this, like a clubbing fragrance, I would say 212 VIP Man. That one is a bit of vetiver, but this one has a lot of sweetness, tonka bean, whatever, in the backbone, which this one also has. So this one, I get the vibes of that 212 VIP Man, but not so much. Those are much higher, uh, sort of like a higher class fragrance, all right? So this one, actually, you're going to get, first of all, that rhubarb note, the sweet rhubarb. At the same time, you're going to get this uh, trace of citrus, all right, which is bergamot. So the citrus and bergamot and the rhubarb won't last long, definitely, all right. This one will last you like about the top note will be like 10, 15 minutes. And then you're going to start getting that booziness, the rum or bourbon, whatever it is. I smell bourbon, all right, more than rum. So it's very, very boozy, very, very ootsy, which is the sandalwood. And then the mix of uh, the apple, red apple will come. So it's a fruity, woody, sort of the sweet leather, also like CH Man sweet leather. Not so nice, just hint of it, right? So that's sort of a fragrance, okay? And then also the dry down will go a little bit on the powdery side. Not so much powder, but a little bit powdery. So I guess the lavender and the vanilla, they come like Lamal. That's sort of a fragrance dry down. But Lamal, again, different class. But for the price you pay, you get feel of all those gourmand fragrances, you know, like white chocolate. And I believe there are a lot of fragrances, you know, that, you know, this one is a basic fragrance of very nice fragrance, very pronounced. It projects really well. Lasting power is quite decent, three, four hours. And the winter time, evening time, great. If you're living in a winter country, colder country, it'll warm you up. The thing is, another thing you're going to get from these fragrances, the caramel toffees, you know, those small, small toffee of caramel or you like popcorn it has the caramel note you smell it yeah that caramel it has also the vibe um the age for it i feel like a little bit younger kids like in the school if you're looking for a little bit serious like a little bit you know if you're going for your graduation dinner or something not graduation dinner you have like a school dinner you have a program you have to attend and you have to dress up you know formally i think school kids will be excellent this is a little bit mature and people will be like wow you smell like a little bit boozy Mm, right but you're not drinking so you are actually alcohol free <laughs> so for them it's an excellent choice but what i really feel is any age can wear this any age of men even women this is a unisex fragrance can wear this can definitely get and get noticed you'll be liked a lot if you don't tell people what you're wearing <sighs> people are gonna guess you're wearing something very very expensive fragrance that's where this does the magic this is where i said this is a hidden gem so for longevity, you know, whew, I mean, like for what it is, it's really, really good. Other ones I get like three, four hours. This one I'll say four, pushing five hours in the winter time. How many sprays? Uh, don't put too much of this because this is quite a heavy fragrance, okay? Uh, it dries down quite smooth, but 
initially it can actually be overpowering so i say go three to four max somewhere here on your shirt and some on your arm maybe or oh, this arm i have the one million is projecting like a beast now because the cooler night <laughs> such a beautiful fragrance right so uh unisex youthful anyone can wear where to wear this i think a little bit dating if you if you have your sweetheart you can wear this on your date college you can go for uh, movie dates you can go uh, whole nights if you're going for evening walk this will be perfect a little bit white chocolate will come up and compliment you like you know it will warm you up a little bit and if you you like the sweetness you know sort of powderiness perfect to wear for winter summertime if you wear this uh, in the office if it's wear air conditioned sort of environment very cold you're gonna smell nice all day trust me in the bangladesh condition in the office hours this is perfect if you do you have to respray i don't think so i mean this one will last you for the whole working day that's what i feel so for the price you pay the amount of juice 100 ml you get and the smell you get um for the compliments you're gonna pick up longevity is quite decent projection is really beautiful this you cannot go wrong with this fragrance so many people don't know about this fragrance and i'm pretty sure many of you own this fragrance do let me know if you do so longevity i'll give this six out of ten little bit uh not on the beast mode but decent six six point five projection i'll give you seven point five very good projection the smell of it nine out of ten very beautiful very beautiful smell gourmandish sweet uh sweet leather little bit powdery and very romantic sort of scent all right and the thing is uh the compliments wise you're gonna pick up compliments so overall i'm gonna give this very high mark because it's cheap so for the price you pay you cannot go wrong it's a hidden gem many many places you're gonna surprise people wearing this all right so overall remark i'm gonna give this eight out of ten because it's so cheap all right yep so that's my review for playboy vip do let me know what you think of this what's your experience with it how long do you get and do you think it's a nice fragrance or not <laughs> take care guys i'll talk to you soon good night from dhaka bangladesh bye bye